Hey everyone, welcome back for part two of our apps, add-ons, and mod series. Coming up on today's episode of 2020 Flight Simmers. Welcome back everyone. For part two of the series, this is mainly going to be geared towards all of the add-ons that I use for Microsoft Flight Simulator. I did forget a couple of the applications in the first video, so I will be going over those first and then we'll move into the add-ons. If you have not seen the first video, I'll post a link up here, you can click on that, or check down below in the description, I'll have a link down there. In today's video, we will not be going over any scenery add-ons for Microsoft Flight Simulator, as there's so many to go over, it would be almost impossible to get through them all. But the add-ons that we will go over today are gonna to greatly enhance the functionality, realism, and immersion of Microsoft Flight Simulator. If you have any questions, post them down below in the comments section and I will get right back to you. If the video helps you out, be sure to hit that subscribe, tick that little bell, and smash that thumbs up button. It is greatly appreciated. The first application that we're gonna go over today is FS Realistic. If you haven't seen FS Realistic before, what this is gonna do is add another level of immersion and realism into the simulator. For those of you who are using FS Realistic for VR, I've done a video on how to adjust some of the camera movement. So it's not so abrupt. I'll post that down below in the description as well for you. They also offer a trial period for the software. I highly recommend to check it out if you haven't already. FS Realistic. Next up on the application list is SPAD.next. So what is SPAD.next? SPAD was started as a replacement software for the Satec flight simulation panels. While Satec provides drivers for their panels, these have several shortcomings, notably a lack of configurability and flexibility. whoop de doo What does it all mean, Basil? So basically what that means for you is if you're a person that is having issues with key bindings, and external hardware that you may have purchased for the simulator, then SPAD is probably gonna be for you. They do offer a free trial version. I highly recommend to check that out, SPAD.next. The next application that I wanna go over is Voice Attack. I think this is another one of those applications that fly under the radar and not many people talk about it. So what is Voice Attack? With Voice Attack, you can control all of your games and simulators with just your voice. You can add your voice as an extra controller with voice commands that you create. Launch and control applications with phrases that you remember. Many are pairing voice attack with devices such as the Oculus Rift, HTC Vive, Leap Motion, HP Reverb G2, and the Pimax. List goes on and on. To purchase voice attack is only 10 US dollars. With the purchase of voice attack, you get unlimited profiles, unlimited commands, and free maintenance updates, I highly recommend to check out Voice Attack. Last but not least on the application list is Microsoft Flight Sim Add-on Linker. What Add-on Linker allows us to do is to keep all of our add-ons and mods for Microsoft Flight Simulator separate from our community folder. Let's take a look at the Add-on Linker real quick, just so you get a better idea of what I'm talking about. So on my desktop, I have a separate folder that I named Microsoft Flight Simulator. Within that folder, I have multiple other folders that I have separated things out a little bit. If I wanna add something in my community folder that's in one of these folders, all I have to do is tick on the dropdown and then tick on the add-on or mod that I want to add. It automatically puts that in my community folder for me. Now there's one other really cool feature about the add-on linker that I don't think a lot of people know about. So I wanna go over that real quick. If you go up to the tools menu, go down to options, Tick on additional options. Here we can create somewhat of a batch file so that the add-on linker will automatically start other applications for us if we would like. We can also have the add-on linker close those applications once Microsoft Flight Sim closes. I think that is a really cool feature for add-on linker. And if you currently use add-on linker, let me know down below in the comments. All right, so now we're gonna get into some of the add-ons that I use for Microsoft Flight Simulator. The first one we're gonna talk about today 
can also be had at flightsim.to and it is called We Love VFR Region 2. This add-on is broken down into three separate regions. We have Region 1 for the middle part of the world, Region 2 for the western part of the world, and Region 3 for the eastern part of the world. So what is We Love VFR? It's a free add-on for Microsoft Flight Simulator that adds thousands of new VFR-friendly objects. In the beta version, you get communication, radio, TV antennas, chimneys, radar domes, construction cranes, satellite and radio telescope dishes, and many more things are planned for the future. Another great add-on for Microsoft Flight Sim. Check it out over at flightsim.to. Next up on the add-on list is the subtle VR controllers. For those of you who love flying in VR, this will take away that VR controller and you will be left with just a little arrow now to move around things in the cockpit. Another great free add-on from flightsim.to. Next up, we have the VR-friendly prop mod. This is another really cool add-on. What this application does is it makes the prop look more realistic, but the main reason for that is for those who fly in VR and you're using motion reprojection, it will eliminate any of the artifacting that you would normally get. So as you can see here, this is what the Microsoft Flight Sim default prop looks like while it's spinning. And here's what it looks like with the add-on. So if you haven't checked it out, go over there on flightsim.to and download the prop mod. Next up on the add-on list is JD's Clean Glass mod. So what this mod aims to do is clean up all of the glass so that it is crystal clear while you're looking out, especially on those awesome VFR flights. JD's Clean Glass Mod. Next up on the add-on list, we have the Airport Lights add-on. Now what this is gonna do is add all of your gate and terminal lighting that are at your airports. As you can see here, we have some default lighting and with the mod, you can now see it is much brighter around all of the gates. So for those of you who love flying those commercial flights, especially at nighttime, this is an absolute must have. Next on the add on list is new light from flightsim.to. What this is gonna do is change all of the lighting on the aircraft to make it look more real and give us better visuals, especially if we're trying to see at night. As many people know, at nighttime, some of the default lighting on the aircraft is just not that great. If you don't have it, I highly recommend to download it over at flightsim.to. Next up on the add-on list, we have three different add-ons, all from LVFR. The first one we're gonna talk about today is Airport Jetway Pro. What this is gonna do is replace all of the default jetways with this fantastic glass-lined jetway. You're also gonna have some awesome sounds that are gonna be incorporated with the jetways when they are connecting and disconnecting. You can pick this up at LVFR for $7.99. Next up from LVFR is the AREX Airport Regional Environment. What this is going to do is replace all of the ground vehicles with the appropriate ground vehicles for that particular region. For the North America region, it is $9.99, and I believe for the entire world, they have a pack for $39.99. Check it out over at LVFR. Next up on the add-on list from LVFR is the Global Vehicle Traffic. This is another add-on that you can pick up for $8.99, and this will replace all of the default boring traffic in Microsoft Flight Sim with something more realistic that you would see in your day-to-day -day life. Next up on the add-on list comes from PMS50.com. They have two different add-ons that I highly recommend everyone check out. The first one we're gonna go over is the GTN 750. They have two different versions of the GPS unit, a free version and a premium version on their website. They also have a list of compatible aircraft for the GPS unit that I highly recommend you check out. Below on the webpage lists all the different features that the premium version has over the free version, GTN 750. Check it out. The next one from PMS 50 is for the GNS 530. If you are a person that loves flying those older aircraft with the older avionics unit, then this is a must-have add-on for the GNS 530. I've also done a GNS 530 tutorial series. I'll post a link up here at the top or down below in the description. If you wanna learn more about the GNS 530, check it out. Next up on our list of add-ons comes from Working Title, 
and they have three different add-ons that I highly recommend. The first one is the G1000 NXI mod, the G3000 mod, and the G3X mod. The G1000 mod can be had inside of Microsoft Flight Simulator in the marketplace. The G3000 and the G3X you can either pick up on their website by clicking on the mod itself and then clicking on latest download version. Or if you're someone that is using the community downloader, all you have to do is click on the mod that you want and do the one click download and install. Again, I highly recommend all three of these that is really going to enhance your flight simming experience. Now I know a lot of people are gonna say, well, what about the CJ4? We're gonna get into that in the mod series. So I have not forgotten about that. Oh, and by the way, if you're enjoying today's video, go down and smash on that thumbs up button. It is greatly appreciated. Next up on the add-on list is Rex Real Global Airport Textures. What Real Global Airport Textures will do is change all of the runway and taxiway textures around the airports either to reflect a brand new airport or an airport that is heavily used. You also have the functionality inside the application here to pick what you would prefer to see. This application can be picked up for $17.95 over at RexSimulations.com. And last but not least, from JustFlight, we have Real Taxiways USA. If you're not in the US, don't worry. They also have a Europe version as well, and if you just so happen to fly in both areas of the world, then they have a bundle you can pick up for $44.99 for Europe and the US. Airports now resemble their real world counterparts enough to be easily recognizable, but inaccurate taxiway names, unrealistic signs, and objects placed in the middle of the taxiways immediately destroy the immersion. Black Square's Real Taxiways has been designed by real-world aviation professionals to fix those problems, resulting in a unique airport signage that is functionally identical to its real-world counterparts. Another fantastic add-on from Just Flight and Real Taxiways. All right, so that's going to wrap us up for today's episode. If anybody has any questions, post them down below in the comments section, and I will get right back to you. If you haven't done so, make sure to hit that subscribe, tick that little bell, and smash that thumbs up button. For part three of the video, click up here if it's available. To all my flight simmer friends around the world, keep the blue side up. We'll see you all in the next one. Thanks for watching, everybody.